object of this film is to give you the booby trap mentality. That is to say, to make you suspicious of anything which has recently been in the enemy's possession. It will also imbue in you the idea of making life equally unpleasant for the enemy if by any mischance he comes into possession of anything which previously belonged to you. Booby traps can either be set with standard mechanisms or improvised on the spot by using your own ingenuity and whatever materials may be at hand. The effect of setting booby traps in an area is that troops occupying that area will have to examine everything before touching any object or entering any building. This will tend to slow up considerably their rate of advance. Knowledge of what to look for and how to deal with it will, however, breed confidence and avoid undue waste of time. Carelessness, as you see, always brings its own reward. We will first show the setting of booby traps using standard mechanisms. Here, a trap is being set in a motorcycle. The pressure switch mechanism is hidden under the saddle and connected by instantaneous fuse to an explosive charge in the toolbox. Once the plunger is inserted in the trap mechanism, anyone sitting on the saddle is in danger of instant death. In all types of booby traps, concealment is essential. All traces of work must be removed. There are certain principles to be followed. First, appeal to the enemy's curiosity. Any attractive souvenirs or abandoned stores are usually sure to claim his attention. This pile of rubbish will illustrate our second principle. Inconvenience the enemy so that he has to move something out of the way. The dump is arranged to obstruct enemy vehicles and will have to be moved probably by lorries. Consequently, the trap, a number five mechanism in this case, is so set that it will not explode under the weight of a man, but only when something heavy comes onto it. The more we can blow up, the better. Ah, here they come, with a truck, just as we thought. That's right, back in nicely. Whoa, over on your other lock. A little more. Now. Here we see a room in a house which is likely to be occupied by enemy officers. A suitable reception is therefore being arranged. This illustrates two more principles. First, you will notice that several traps are being put in to ensure that one at least will prove effective. And secondly, the traps are arranged to catch the enemy through ordinary everyday actions when he is least expecting anything. He may be musically minded. And if there's a piano about, well, it's not difficult to arrange a little surprise to happen when the lid is raised. And when he sits down at the keyboard, he'll find himself playing a harp instead, provided you remember to pull out the safety pin once the trap is set. This pin secures the spring which operates the striker mechanism. It can be removed with thin thread which can be broken off after the pin is out. Or maybe there's an interesting piece of furniture, and if it has a cupboard, so much the better. Sooner or later, someone will be curious enough to want to see what's inside. And you remember what curiosity did to the cat, don't you? When taking the safety pin out, you must be particularly careful that the trap is correctly adjusted to prevent the mechanism firing at once. If the pin does not come out easily, investigate immediately. And don't forget to hide the loose end of the string. Then there's the hollowed out book. Filled with gun cotton and a release switch that detonates immediately the book is picked up. This is a real thriller that goes with a bang right from the start. Again, see how the safety pin is removed. Never forget the importance of concealment. Always clear all traces of your handiwork and try to leave everything as you found it. The enemy are not fools. In this case, the NCO wisely sends all his men off directly the job is finished and takes a final look round to satisfy himself that all is as it should be. An important last minute duty is for whoever is in charge to make sure that all the safety pins have been removed and taken away. Right, put the top on now. Put it down careful. 
Everything is ready. All right, come on now, let's get out. Now let us see what happens several days later. schlecht. Gut für mein Büro. Ich werde den Schreibtisch vom anderen Zimmer hereinrücken. Mein lieber Hans, glaubst du wirklich, dass du diese Zimmer für dich behalten darfst, wenn Oberst Schulz es einmal gesehen hat? Warum nicht? Ich muss schließlich irgendwo ein Büro haben. Ja, aber drunten im Gasthaus, alter Knabe. Oder in einem der kleinen Bauernhäuser. Das hier wird das Bataillon Hauptquartier, sobald die alte Herr es sieht. Warte nur, ob ich nicht recht habe. Trotzdem, ich werde es versuchen. Selbstverständlich. Du willst versuchen, wie gewöhnlich. Du willst zuletzt im Gasthaus landen, wie gewöhnlich. Du wirst immer dieselben Zimmer haben wie der Oberst. Wo du doch ganz gut weißt, wenn ein Klavier vorhanden ist, dann bekommt der Oberst. Ach was, zum Donner bitte noch mal. Klavierspielerei. Weißt du denn nicht, dass dies ein Krieg ist? Und nicht eine musikalische Abendunterhaltung? <lacht> Das Buch. Was ist denn nun getan? Wetter, was ist es denn? Ah, ja. Ah! Danke! Drink. Man kann gar nicht vorsichtig genug sein, mein lieber Karl. Hier, trink. <lacht> Prost. Another way of using booby traps is to attract the enemy to the spot by a sudden outbreak of fire or an explosion. When he attempts to deal with this, up he goes. These sappers have planted a delayed action fuse to set the hut on fire and are now setting explosive charges under everyday objects lying about outside. If the enemy attempts to put out the fire, he is practically certain to pick up one of these pails of water and thus explode the trap. <laughs> well, let's see how it works out. There is one vital lesson which you must remember when laying booby traps yourself, and that is tell everybody who is at all likely to come in contact with your trap where and what type of trap you have laid. The enemy are sufficient danger to our men without any addition from you. I say the hats. H-A-T-S. Not rats. We've got dozens of those up here. What? Morning, sir. Morning. We've laid that booby trap, sir, on the train down to the ford, just north of the village, sir. Well, sir. Oh, good. We must let the CRE know immediately. So I found it through, sir? Not only your life, Sergeant Major. This information's secret. I'll write a message. Hmm. Warner DR, Jackson. See the other sections are told. 
You uh, better nip across the brigade headquarters. Let them know. Be good, sir. And for God's sake, get your hair cut. Yes, sir. Everyone concerned will hear about it very soon. The people to be warned are the HQ staff through the CRE, and most important, local troops and other sections of the unit engaged on the work. If you do not warn them, our own troops may all unconsciously walk into the trap you have set for the enemy. And your carelessness will not only result in casualties to our own men, but may give valuable information to the enemy about the movements of our forces. This is the result of failing to report a trap. Forewarned is forearmed. Another thing to remember is the principle of double bluff. That is, a dummy booby trap, which the enemy will see, and a real one which he will explode when dismantling the dummy. These sappers have planted a very obvious tripwire across the trench, which the enemy will be certain to find and take to pieces. But to do so, he will have to tread on the duckboard underneath, which, as you can see, is being made all ready to give a rousing welcome to any visitor. And now to see how anything recently in the enemy's possession should not be dealt with. These enemy troops are taking no precautions at all. There may be traps all around them. But there is no attempt at investigation, no caution, no suspicion of anything that may be a potential danger. Their carelessness will bring its own reward. You can only make one mistake, as these men have learned too late. Here you see an experienced party of infantry preparing to examine a trench recently captured from the enemy. Between them, they carry wire cutters, a prismatic compass for detecting buried shells or grenades, and chalk, scissors, rope for pulling suspicious objects from a distance, buckets of water for drenching, torches, probing bars, and pins which are useful for making safe any mechanisms found. Mines and traps are very difficult to detect. And therefore, during an advance, everything must be systematically examined. Searching for booby traps is the responsibility of all arms. The rendering safe of all traps or suspected traps is the responsibility of the sappers. Be suspicious of everything you find, even though you find most of them to be false alarms or red herrings. Someone's life, it may be your own, depends on the care with which you make your search. The most innocent looking things may be proved guilty if you examine them carefully enough. And remember to mark everything you examine to let others know. The enemy engineers are counting on your carelessness. Your own comrades are relying on your vigilance. Having got the booby trap mentality firmly embedded, you must always be on the lookout for traps. If you find any, and if you're not a sapper, drench them with water, fence off, and mark them clearly. Then send for someone who knows how to deal with them. Even false booby traps can be most effective in holding up and delaying the enemy. Here is something suspicious which attracts the attention of the NCO. A new trench board, which may quite possibly conceal a trap. This particular trap is very easy to make and very difficult to detect. 
The NCO has made the reasonably safe assumption, based on the fact that the enemy had very recently left the trench, that the charge will be a small one, and that it will be safe to spring the trap and not worry the sappers about it. A sharp pull from behind cover, and the trap is blown quite harmlessly with no loss of life and very little trouble. Here, a party of sappers are carrying out an examination in a house recently occupied by enemy troops. Everything must be examined minutely. Nothing overlooked, for traps may be found anywhere, set to be fired in a dozen different ways, and it may be depended upon that in every case, concealment will be absolute. You have to look for booby traps, and where you can't look, you must feel. Suspect everything until you know it's all right. Get this suspicious outlook firmly in your mind and be nasty yourself. Nothing reduces morale quicker than the uncertainty as to whether anything can safely be moved or any attractive souvenir picked up. Everything movable must be carefully examined by probing wires or thin knife blades with the minimum of movement. Remember that the enemy may be using mechanisms with which you're not familiar, and that traps may be set in places you had thought impossible. Don't underestimate your enemy. Remember, too, that there are such things as delayed action mechanisms which go off after a certain time. Look out for them. They can be most unpleasant unless discovered and disposed of promptly. And don't imagine, just because you wouldn't have set a trap in a certain place, that the enemy wouldn't either. As a matter of fact, those are the very places he's most likely to choose. There are no set rules for hiding traps. They may be anywhere. Hey, Cole, there's one here been fiddled with. What? Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody seems to have found something. Yes, an enemy trap in position. Great care must be taken to move nothing until the mechanism has been located and a safety pin inserted. The good sapper carries a supply of these pins when searching for booby traps. Never move mechanisms until they're neutralized, as they may work either by pressure or the release of pressure. Once the safety pin is in position and secured so that it cannot fall out, all wires or cords can be cut, and the mechanism and charge made accessible for dismantling. <laughs> Once you can see the trap, you'll have some idea of how it works and what precautions to take. But even then, be careful. For remember, it may be a dummy which in turn will explode a real one. Having removed the charge and mechanism, Put them in water as soon as possible, and then go on searching, for the trap you have found may be one of many. Never become careless, even for one second. Sure, dear. <sighs> A pity. Remember, forewarned is forearmed. You can only make one mistake. 